I install something and you can't see it. Hey, you didn't turn on your balls. Oh, I got it. That one needs a battery, I think, on it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we got to get the balls going. I do my workout. You know, I always like to work out. Before. They say stretch before you start doing anything. So, <sighs> I got to get my stuff. Is that how you do it, Will? Stretch before you start the big workout. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. That's, of course, from uh, Raven, from Raven's Rookery. Check his show out on YouTube. Doc is in the house. Doc's in the house. Doc. He's here on, he's in, he's here even a little early. Well, thanks, Doc. Doc. Maybe you walked the dog already. Yeah. He's... Put that dog on a different time, like 11. Well, the time changed, so you can walk him, what, an hour later, right? Yeah, dogs don't know. Yeah, they don't know. They're supposed they to don't know when they got to go. They're on dog time, so he's probably not switched over yet, so you could take him out an hour later. Um, or, wait a second, we fell back, so what, so, so, I don't know. I so 5 o'clock and 4 o'clock, so if you used to walk the dog at noon, he's now walking the dog at 11 o'clock, <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 so what time should he walk the dog? Dog walking done, he said, so it doesn't matter, it doesn't. I know, but I want to figure that out. If you walk the dog at noon, and then we fell back to 11, which is still noon, you should walk the dog at 1, because that will be noon. Yeah, don't walk the dog till after we go off. It'll be perfect. Yeah. Perfect timing. So I okay. figured that out. Very good. I use my noodle. You, 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 I'm not as dumb as I am. You're using your noodle. I'm not as dumb as some of those Hey, you know what? Who, what it's is not it? time yet. It's not time yet? It, we're, we're less than a minute. Less than a minute. You're, and everybody can't see my wink. Oh, man. That makes me mad. I installed a wink. A wink and skeleton. Well, I don't wink, but I like so. And I got a button on everything. I thought I was standing. Huh? Put it on the head. No, you can't. You can't. Dude, he's a whole skeleton. Oh! Nice! Hey! Oh. You can't say sh. Yeah, you can. It's a live show. Yeah, we can. Hey, we're recording over there, too. Yeah, we got to go. We got to Oh, which camera do we have? Hey, we got to go like this right now. Well, I'll do it. Because that's what the guy told us to do. So I don't know if we need to do that. Because I'm recording over there. I'm recording like this. Burke! We are like, we need somebody here to take a picture of this setup. <laughs> Talking about Frankenstein. Wait, we need we need cameraman. No, Will. Oh, don't be so bad. Will would do a good job for us. What do you think, Will? All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, welcome everybody at noontime. It is noon. It's, mid, it's midday. It's midday. Welcome to the Mayhem Show. And if you just tuned in, I'm mad today because I installed a wink that I could do for you guys. So if you came in there and then he said, hey, so-and-so came in and I would give you a wink because you can't see it. Got to do something about that. Uh, what, what is it? I, I just winked at him. See if they can see that. Can you see that wink? Uh, well, so, we got the delay option going on. Oh, yeah, a little bit. I know. But not as cute as that, though. We got to figure it out. So, right. do is, is there a schedule today? Is there something that you're pulling out? No, what, what's the topic for today? Well, first of all, Denny, Sir Richard, I want to start the show off with kind Sir of Rich. a kind of a sad, um, sad tale, sad thing I have to tell. Uh, sad thing I have to say. A notification. I'm sure a lot of you people uh, saw this already, but and I can't believe this happened. But Mylon Keckman. The ghoul's artist, the one that did the original ghoul art, you'll see it here in this bottle. Remember that the one you always see that art? Mylon Keckman passed away a couple days ago. Oh. Isn't that crazy? And he just came out, he redid those Spencer Mongolia um, cards that he had. He redid it because he was never happy with the original ones. So he just redid it and he was selling like limited edition. And I'm like, oh cool, you know, Mylon Keckman, he's you know, and he passed away. Another part of the master. Yeah, so it's there's like Joel said yesterday, you know, as time goes on, more and more pieces slip Speaking away. Speaking of master, Grandmaster P is watching. He is? Hey, Mark, what's up, right, buddy? Um, he, yeah, he's working from home today. I mean, he's at home today. Or he, what, he, whatever. Don't get him. He's no. busy. What if his boss is watching? If his bosses are watching, he's busy. Yeah, what well, we didn't say is last night. Well, no, it's so. lunchtime. He's eating lunch. Yeah, it's lunchtime. And, and hopefully lunch. you're eating lunch, too, right? Because that's yeah. what you're supposed to. Why aren't we ever eating lunch? <laughs> We have to incorporate some lunch into this because I am hungry. Um, yeah, anybody wants to, wants to provide us lunch? Yeah, because we don't have time to go. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about your uh, 
company, your restaurant, you know, yeah. if you want to provide a plan. Yeah. And we do this like practically every week live. Um, too bad we get to run down to the Express Deli today and get some corned beef. Uh, oh. The Express Deli over there on uh, Smith Road. Smith Road. Smith Road, Smith, Smith Road and uh, Brook Park. Yeah, make sure you go there and get some delicious Just sandwiches. south of Brook Park Road. Yeah, that's a good place. So the Express Deli, tell them the Midnight Movie sent you, and it, it won't help you, but let them know. And you might even see our sticker there, right? Because he's a big supporter of the show. Yeah. Shout out to Pierre. Pierre. Um, oh, yes, and, I might. and by the way, in honor of Mylon Kekman, I did drag out a few more of the artifacts from that we got from the old ghoul show. Uh, one being this bottle, that wouldn't even happen, but it wasn't for my co-host, Triv, who graciously gave me one, even though he kept the full one, he gave me the empty one. That's fine, I'm, I'm happy to have it, but the artwork is on there, and um, this this um, ghoulish skeleton guy was also another artifact that I got off the ghoul set. Okay, so a couple things I put out there to you know, so we think of the ghoul and we think of Mylon Peckman. That's sad though. And we get that big, at the regular studio, or studio we get that big Mylon Peckman um, yeah. ghoul thing that yeah. the ar archivist yeah. Yeah, yeah, Little yeah, just yeah. did. So, and that's from the ghoul set too. So, but anyways. Um, Thank you, John Basso, for that. You know. Yes, shout out to John Basso for, for letting us come down here and raid his place. <laughs> it's always fun. He's got a lot of stuff. Uh, we love John Basso. Yeah. Shout out to the North Italian Club, too. We're both members of that. Hey, if you're Italian, North Italian Club, we're looking for members. A lot of fun. You Let have to know. be Italian? You have to be either married to an Italian, be Italian, married to an Italian, or your family has to have an Italian what link. What if we travel Italy? through Italy one time? No, that's not good enough. And you we it? might have an Italian token or something? Nope. Got to be in the blood. Huh? Well, like, so, I'm not uh, Italian, but my wife is. So that's how I got in. Oh. Now, the funny thing, my mother-in-law, all, all the kids, all her kids are in the North Italian Club, but she can't be because her husband passed away, and she got remarried or whatever, and, and oh. so she doesn't have that link anymore, so she can't join. Isn't that weird? But rules are rules. We married a Spaniard, and they she, said, nope, you're out of here. She married a German. Or a French. A German. A oh. French. Married us. C. Hey, by the way, if you noticed the uh, thing I posted on Facebook today, you know, I always post a little notice that we're going to have a live show today. If you saw that, I've been playing around with AI. <laughs> oh, but watch that stuff because you start playing with that and it, it's kind of addicting. So that picture that you saw today, the three people standing there, one guy's got the green head. I told AI I wanted a picture of the three stooges hanging out with Frankenstein. That's what it came up with. So, Raymond has joined us. Raymond! Yeah, he says, Raymond's rookery right here. I was just talking about his show. 1% Italian. You could get in here, unless you have that 1%. You could get in. Um, Raymond's rookery, check it out on YouTube, okay? My buddy down there, he's one. hey, I already used my stretchy toy there, Raven. I worked out with him. So, shout out to them, Stan, and all yeah, he game. scared me with it. He says, I'm going to stretch, and it's like, oh, my God. No. Yeah. Oh! No. This thing's awesome, though. For Okay. Denny? Yes. I don't want to jump too soon, but you probably didn't notice with all the stuff we have here. There's one little thing skeleton. here. Not all skeletons. There's a little elf with there's the package an elf? there. Yep. Okay, there's an elf with the package. Oh, can you see it on TV? You can barely yeah, see him down there. Head. Looks like a little cupid doll. Yeah, he's a little. He's one of those little elves. I put that out there because yes, I don't like when people get too early with their Christmas lights and stuff. But you got to start thinking about Christmas shopping, right? Yes. That's a good time right now. Start thinking about the ho 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 ho, and Black Friday's coming up, and Amazon their sales and all I that good stuff. Where do they sell more ho hos during Christmas season? Can you still get ho hos? Yeah, you can. Okay, we should get a box for next time. Ho ho. For next week, let's get a box for, for, for Christmas. You have a Halloween Christmas. How about Halloween or Halloween Christmas? A Halloween Listen to me. Christmas. We'll have a Halloween yeah. Christmas. We'll have whatever. What about ho ho Christmas? Hey. Can you hear us good today? Because I had to switch to a different microphone, so I want to see if that microphone works. If not, sorry guys, but I had to switch to that. So we might talk a little bit louder, Danny, because we're really using that one instead of that one. Yeah, we already talked loud. I know, but I want to make sure you can hear us. So, anyways. Just confirm out there, people, that if you yeah, hear it. Yeah, if you can't, sorry. <laughs> I can't switch it now. <laughs> but anyway, Danny, yeah. my theme for today, not really a theme, but I thought... What are some top gift ideas for your horror fan? You got a family or a friend or somebody that's a horror fan? 
What are some of the top gift ideas? Thanks, Raven. For 2023, okay. he says we're okay. Yeah, he says Sweet. we're good. Sweet. Thank you, Raven. Um, so I looked it up. I found a bunch of different ones. I just went to the one that said like top Christmas 10. gifts for your horror fans. for your horror fans, and they range from like cheap and lame, kind of in my opinion, to pretty cool. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna run down it real quick, of course. Christmas. And you're gonna like the number ten. You're gonna like number ten. Okay. Christmas gift for your yeah horror fan. Start off a subscription to Shutter streaming services. You know Shutter TV. So oh. you can get a subscription. That they have all kinds. It's all horror stuff, and they do Shutter originals. And I guess it's pretty cool. I don't have it. I did have it back when my daughter used to have it, but she had to get rid of some of the streaming channels, and that one got axed. But Shutter streaming. So you got a family or friend or you? Yeah. If you want to Shutter somebody in. Yeah. And thanks, Trib. He's hooked on. Try Trib listening, up. watching. He Thank says it really. sounds no different than before, so we're good. That's awesome. You're as happy you before, but what? Hey, that means, hey, Trev, guess what? The microphone that we're using today was purchased at the bin store. Ah! Huh? <laughs> huh? Did I say it right? Bin? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 we're not getting into it. I'm, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to teach myself. So anyway, bin store. But anyway. Number two. You like this one, Trev. Good, good thing you tuned in. And I guess this is a cool, a rare thing. This is a Tremors t-shirt. Oh, from the movie Tremors. I guess they got reissued some t-shirts with Tremors on it. So a Tremors t-shirt, okay. Like maybe, Or just about any t-shirt of that <coughs> genre would be good. It doesn't yeah. necessarily be a Tremor. No, but the Tremors is the hot one right now. But, but, you know, We're going with some of the top idea, okay. not just any idea. Well, I'm just, okay. you know, maybe somebody don't like the movie Tremors. They may not, they might, this is one of the top ideas, okay? They might want Tremors. Then they go find a Tremor shirt. Hopefully you're editing. I mean, bad. You can, yeah, you, yeah, we can change your that jokes. Was, that was bad. Uh, that was bad. That was bad. Uh, no, no, they're not funny if they don't come naturally. No, you know? no. You know what's funny? Raven's Rookery is a funny show. Okay. I should get paid for that, but that's my buddy. You know what I'm going to do. Uh, shout out to Doc Dredd, too. Doc Dredd's show every Friday night. Make sure you check him out. He does the best reviews out there. And he's my buddy. He's my buddy. He's your buddy. He's a good he's guy. A he's a good guy. Uh, how about this? How about the old Michael, Michael Myers Chia Pet? <laughs> yeah, Michael Myers Chia Pet. That's the kind of you probably pick up at Rite Aid or someplace. You know, when you're really desperate to get, that's why I used to shop. Yeah, that's a good game. little, you know, throw in <laughs> stocking stuff. Well, those boxes are bigger than stocking yeah. stuff. But, but, you know, that's a little good thing to throw in. Where would Michael Myers grow his hair? That's what that's I was, what I, I thought that, but didn't say God, it. He's right there. We've got a couple versions of him. We can't well, see it all. It'd be in the top. Just a yeah, little the patch top. of green yeah. hair? Yeah, it'd be a patch of green hair. All right. Okay. Well, that's on the list. I wonder, because don't those, aren't those the shell, if you will? Is that usually like a skin tone color or a brow? Yeah, it's terracotta. It would have to be white. It's like yeah, terracotta. terracotta. What, what I wonder if be white for yeah, uh, my I wonder if they did. Well, now I have to look into that further, Denny. I'll run down to uh, Rite Aid. Or, yeah, there you go. Or some place like that. Rite Aid always has those Chia Pet. Did you ever have a Chia Pet? No. Nope. Me neither. Just don't look like nope. no fun. Never had a hamster. <clears throat> Never had a hamster? No. Nope. We had a hamster that my daughter brought home from school for the holidays. <laughs> the it, pregnant didn't, one. it didn't survive. No. You got, you know, the spinning wheel? Yeah. We found it wedged underneath the spinning wheel. I oh. think it committed suicide. I don't know. Yeah. Um, let's move on, though. Okay. okay. Here's a cool one. Number four. The ultimate Alfred Hitchcock Blu-ray movie collection, okay? This thing's got 15 Hitchcock movies, like The Birds, Rear Window, Vertigo, Psycho. I have a Psycho 2 poster right there. You can't see it. Can't see nothing I got. Wow. Um, That's a pretty good gift for somebody. It also has three episodes of the Alfred Hitchcock Hour, okay? So, or seven, so, yeah, seven episodes of Alfred Hitchcock Presents. And you say, well, that's enough, right? No, it's got 10 hours more of special features. Wow. So that's a lot. Wow. That's a lot. <clears throat> it's a nice one. Bet that a costly gift. Though. That's going to be a main gift for somebody. It's going to be a main gift, but you want to hear something funny? What? <laughs> you sound like you dreaded to hear it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I picked this up. I don't know if it's the same one, but I picked up this Alfred Hitchcock collection at the bin store for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I make some good purchases there. 
Uh, it was kind of chewed up though. It wasn't. It wasn't in the best shape, but you know, you know it's, uh, it's, it's a dollar. Um, don't act like you dread what you say. Uh, number five. Sometimes. Really? Yeah. Well, really. Right. But anyway, you want to do the rest? No. All right. Then. Yeah, but sure list. Hey, I got my look. I got my Grinch shirt on too. Um, how about the Universal Classic uh, Movie Monster Collection? Thirty classic Universal films. Thirty. All 30 of them. I don't know which 30, but Frank Frankenstein and Dracula, yeah. you know, all those. Yeah. Um, That's another good. Get that one for Chris Cross. He loves it, especially that uh, Frankenstein meets a wolf man, one of his all-time favorites. And the Invisible Man. We all know how he feels about the Invisible Man. All right? He said he was an a-hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's invisible. Yeah, but you know, they don't give you a right to be an a-hole. Um, what do you think, Big Will? Anybody say anything? You no. Give me no comments. I don't no, have really nothing. You know. What do you mean? So well, my well, Rick had he ate crickets on something, and no. yeah, Ravenson Retro always makes boss gifts. Keep going. I need to know these things. No, you don't. What do you, what do you? you got a personal thing going on there? I want to hear this no, stuff. No. Next no, time, you just come up with the show, or I'll sit over there. Yeah. How about number six? You do your job well. Mm -hmm. I do my job well. Yeah, but I want to. I want to play. Um, Speaking of playing, the horror edition of Trivial Pursuit. Ooh. Yeah, horror edition. That would be fun to play, right? Oh, that would be cool. You can probably get that at the uh, uh, Great Lakes, Great Lakes. Uh, Gaming Ooh. Emporium in Mentor. I bet they have it there. Be oh, fun. that's pretty cool. Everyone. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So make sure you go down there. Assuming people still play Trivial well, Pursuit. Well, the horror edition. I yeah. used to love Trivial Pursuit, but yeah. nobody would play against because I was so darn smart. Plus, I cheated. Yeah, you cheated. How about number seven? Now this is something I wouldn't mind having. It's called it's a it's a coffee table. Children and uh, Julie, listen up when you watch this. Something that Dad might like. Yeah, yeah, good, good, then. good idea. How about it's a coffee table book? Not a coffee table, but Rick Baker. It's his book. It's called Metamorphosis. It's a coffee table book that details all behind scene pictures of his legendary work on stuff like uh, The Exorcist. American Warrior from London, Men in Black, okay? Um, the forward, forward was forward. by director John Landis. You might know him from the ill-fated uh, Twilight Zone movie, where Vic Morrow didn't do too good. But, yeah, poor um, Vic. He write, wrote the forward. Now, John Landis worked with Rick Baker in his first film. Rick Baker's first film that he did was called Octoman. Who remembers seeing Octoman? Nope. That was his, Rick Baker's very first film. Uh, the preface is done by Peter Jackson, so hey, if you're a fan of King Kong, the new King Kong or whatever, back when he came back, uh, Peter Jackson did the preface. Not the preface, but the preface. So how do you like that? What's the difference between a forward and a preface? Aren't they both at the beginning? I don't know. Okay, thank you. They, they're spelled different. Okay. Uh, all you need to know. Uh, yeah. Number eight, okay, another book. Unless you're driving a car. You don't need to know. You shouldn't yeah, you, you, read you, 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 You're going to look a long time for a preface in the car. Yeah. Unless you're maybe with an audio book. Or if they have an audio book, if they have to sit there, John Landis has to say. Raven says, part. Rick Baker's main inspiration growing up is the immortal Bob Burns. And Chris Cross has uh, decided to join us. Oh, Chris? I was just talking about you, Chris, earlier. Yeah, I was just talking about one of your favorite. Yeah, about the uh, Universal Monster Collection. Uh, yeah, yeah. With, with your favorite movies. Your brother's getting that for it. Oh, Invisible Man spilled the bean. Oh, you gave it away. Now, oh. Del Mar's going to be mad. Oh. Anyways, uh, number eight. There's another book, and this one's pretty cool. It's called On Set with John Carpenter, The Photographs of Kim Gottlieb Walker. And it's a collection of behind-the-scenes pics from hit Carpenter movies, like Halloween and um, other the Carpenter fog. films. The Fog. There you go, Denny. You're doing good. Denny's doing good today. Uh, he's not foggy. So it's like a bunch of behind-the-scenes pictures. It's pretty cool if you're a fan of John Carpenter, right? Number nine. Now, this one was Cheapies, okay? By Williams Sonoma. Okay. You gotta have something. Skeleton yeah. Apron. <laughs> I don't want that. Who wants that? Who wants skeleton apron? Who wears an apron? Yeah, well, it makes you look thinner. <clears throat> That's true. Take that to the hospital and say, I don't need an x-ray. It's you yeah. know, whatever. But well, that that's a nice look to, for the cook. You know, if they're making the Halloween cookies and, you know. It's Christmas! But yeah, but when they're making Halloween. They're making Christmas cookies. 
Halloween's over, dude. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Halloween you can buy them for next year when they're making Halloween. No. No, because by then I'll be doing something else. Um, number 10, okay? And this is... Or they can be watching that Nightmare Before Christmas. They can wear that when they're making cookies for night... But well, it's all they're wearing. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Number Where 10. Where they wipe their hands? Oh. Uh, they'll have to come out with some skeleton chefs, I guess. Yeah, bad joke. Number they 10, don't come though. back for later. Just that good. Will you let me get to number 10? This is why I'm trying to spring on you. Okay, bring on me. Number 10. Number 10. Any midnight movie product oh. is a hot item. See how he did that? Yeah. Yes. All you got to do is go to midnightmovie.net. Look for Denny. Okay, we got hats. We got shirts. We got the collectible posters. We got so much stuff. What else we got? We got some mugs up we here. Got mugs, we, we got, got the puzzles. puzzles. We got so we got the clocks, bumper stickers, and bumper stickers, stickers, twenty fifth anniversary. We got a skit DVD right there. We got so much stuff, and then we got stocking stuffers. And we got oh my gosh, my head's gonna explode. What a great idea, right? Midnightmovie.net for your Christmas products. And that, I can't believe it's on the list. It's not that I just added it and bumped off, you know, something stupid. But it's it's big list. red T-shirts. Big red t-shirts. We have, don't we have, well, we have black too, don't we? We have black and red t-shirts. We have black t-shirts, we have red t-shirts, and a special edition that we never bring down with Triff Singh on a bad gray for a 25th anniversary shirt. So, we have those. Oh, why did I bring one today? We, have, we always talk about that. I had to go. We never had anyway. one. But anyways, we have that. Shop here. Okay. Uh, so, I did all this stuff today. I'm doing good. Now, here's some sad news. Okay, I've been harping on this for a while. The Cleveland Toy Comic and Collectible Show that we were supposed to appear at November 25th and 26th, due to some unfortunate, unfortunate uh, situations that could be rectified, it's been canceled. Ellie's wondering, asking if there's no pink shirts. Well, if you take a red one and you take a gray one and you wash them together, according to some people, Raven, you may get a pink shirt <laughs> eventually. <laughs> But I don't, I didn't have that experience myself. A little bit of bleach? I don't know. A little bit of bleach? I don't know. You can get a pink shirt. You can custom order one, maybe. No. Yeah, maybe. Um, but anyway. What size? Message me. You LA can't ask size. a woman what size. No, oh, well, no. If I'm going to get her a shirt, I would need to know the size. Well, send us your exact measurements. <laughs> right? Oh, oh man. Go. I am not saying a word. No? I am not saying a word. <laughs> Gary, send us her measurements. <laughs> Um, oh, but anyway, I was talking about the Cleveland Toy Show was canceled. Okay, but good news, good news. Most of it was moved over to their sister show, Mahoning uh, Valley Comic Con. It's a one-day show out in Boardman, Ohio, okay, December 16th, okay, and guess what? We're going to be there as guests! Isn't that cool? Well, we hope we're all going to be there. We don't know about the We don't know who all is going to be there yeah. yet. We have a lot of confirmation. We'll have a table there. Isn't that exciting? And their special guest is Deep Roy. He's going to be there. So we were talking about Deep Roy, the little guy there from Won Willy Wonka, and uh, well, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, Star Wars, Star Trek. He even played Yoda, I guess. I just found that out. I didn't uh, know that. I should have knew because there's a picture of Yoda right there. Yeah. But he played Yoda. Yoda, it's a neat, and, and okay, and Ming Chen from the Comic Book Men show is going to be there. He is a very cool guy. Um, I spoke with him a little last year. He was there or two years ago. I spoke with him. He's a very cool guy. He's going to be there. If you watch the Comic Book Show, it's always on right after. Um, uh, Wonder Dead, feel like Doctor Midnight. Midnight, huh? Doctor Midnight should show up there because Comic Con, right? Yeah. It, it always has cosplay and stuff like that, and Doctor Midnight would fit in great there. And he is mad because he was going to. Go to this. John Seaforth has joined us. John, Grandpa, Papa, Grandpappy. Grandpappy? Grandpappy. Hey, Grandpappy. So, anyways, remember that. If you had that on your list, okay, sorry that that got canceled. So, just, you know, you can go ahead and plan the extra, you know, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Although, yeah. you know what? 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 What's Saturday up? is that Ohio State game from up north, team from up north game. When? Day after Thanksgiving. Oh, or well, on a Saturday. You don't, Saturday. you don't have to worry about it. I think you can stay home and then come see us December 16th <laughs> and <laughs> get your, hey, December 16th and get your last minute Christmas gifts yeah. from us in person. Yeah. 
What? Ray wants to know if Zing will be there. Uh, I don't know, but I don't know if you saw on the Zing, uh, Zing, All Hell Zing Facebook page, group page, that something is happening with Zing. We may see Zing back in time for Zingmas this year. Wow. Yeah. Uh-oh. Don't sneeze. Yeah, well, Zing and have, Dr. Midnight have a bet. I know. I know. That would be curious. Yeah. But you know what? I heard that Dr. Midnight had something to do with the disappearance of Zing. So, I don't know, but stay tuned on that one. Good question. Well, you know, I don't know, because Dr. Midnight says he only does two operations, you know, amputations and circumcisions. Okay. So, Zing came up missing. What did he come up missing? <laughs> yeah. If he comes back with a high-pitched voice, we'll know what happened. Oh, Raven says that would be amazing. Good one, good one. That's yeah. why... Raven's Rookery is one of the funniest shows on YouTube. A few more like that. And here's the two. Uh, I, hey, Raven, you can't see it because the camera's not low enough, but I'm giving you a wink at my new wink, winky skeleton. Well, you can't see it. we gotta, we got to rectify that. Okay. All right. Now I'm on page two. Page two. Top ten is What's done. What's this say? Oh, this weekend. Well, I'm not, I'll tell you a couple things this weekend in a second. Well, since I'm telling you about stuff, I'll tell you now. Hey, the same people that did the Akron Comic Con, they're doing another uh, show February 3rd at the same place in Medios Party Center in Cuyahoga Falls. Monster Fest Mania. Monster Fest Mania is coming. It's a one-day show February 3rd. So if you love the Akron Comic Con, they always do a great show. Okay? Monster Fest mm. Mania. Hmm. To check that one out. See what I know. Yeah, check that one out. See if we, we maybe the maybe, Yeah, there's the... Uh, uh, movie team may need to... Uh, yeah. But if you want some long-distance news, all the paperwork hasn't settled yet, but it looks like your guys are going to be at the Ohio Terror Con 2024 in August, okay? The dust is settling on the paperwork. We're waiting for it to get through. So it looks like we're going to be there. And i got some great guests, and it's right here at the Great Western Plus and Strong Zone, where all of the great shows seem to wind up, right? Um, but it's looking like your dudesters might all be there, okay? And that's a weird show, though. It's on a Friday and a Saturday. Okay. Ellen so, says she's going to tell Gary. What are you telling him? Yeah. Get their Gary measuring Allen. tape out. What are you, Gary? Are you telling him? Measure her up. We want to know, okay? Uh, and, okay, this weekend you're looking something cool to do? Vinyl Arcade. Huh? Oh. Our friends of Vinyl Arcade are starting their winter tour. And they're going to be at the Hooley House over on Tiedemann Road. T Tiedemann in uh, 480. Yeah. Friday night, right? Friday night, 830 to 11, I believe. Yeah. So, uh, Hooley House. Uh, good food. Who else might be there this weekend? Us. Oh, that's right. We're planning to be there. Yeah, so you'll see, drop you'll see us. Do not sure who else may attend? Yeah. But so we are. If you see us, see. come on down, drop by, have a drink with us or something. Buy us a drink. Or buy us a drink. Yeah, yeah buy us yeah. a drink. Yeah. See by our We're not too proud. Yeah. Well, cool. no, no, I'm not buy it to drink. It's not a problem. But, um, I'd love to have a drink with you. Yeah. Um, but the Vinyl Arcade is going to be awesome. If you ever seen one of their shows, they're yeah, a lot they're, of fun. They're, they're good guys. So good good to, friends of the show. Yeah, there are you know, Vinyl Arcade. The, the Ed from Vinyl Arcade also does the uh, yeah. Thanksgiving uh, Midnight Syndicate. Midnight Syndicate. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Well, the, the Halloween weekend. For sure, yeah, the Halloween weekend. And then that's going get their music's heard over the world. But that's a different thing. Vinyl Arcade. Oh, Vinyl Arcade. Rocks. Yeah, it's different. All it's a lot of fun music. music. Yeah, good music, TV uh, themes, all kinds of cool fun. It's just you, fun. you got to come, if for no other reason, just to hear them sing the Archie Bunker thing. Yep. yep. Oh, my so, God. So. You can't say that, enough that about is, it. it. Yeah, that but is, that's enough about it. That is, you can't say anymore. They're awesome. Uh, all right. Now, Denny, to, to wrap it all up here. I was thinking, you know, you're out searching for gifts and stuff like that. Keep your eyes peeled because, you know what's also floating around out there? What? A lot of lost horror films. And the most famous one being London After Midnight, okay? If you find any of these, you, you've got it made, all right? So I got a quick list of five movies that are missing. There's a whole list of them. But I'm going to grab five. If you're getting ready to go through that, we'll need a number between uh, yeah, you get some numbers, eight and... Mm, Eight ninety nine. No, too far, Denny. Eight. Eight to four fifty. Eight. No. To eight eighty five. Eight to eight eighty five. Yeah. 
Um, here, first one we should be looking for is called, and this one sounds good. If we find it, no, this one doesn't sound that great. But if we find it, we'll play it anyway. Called Castle Sinister, okay? Woohoo, Castle Sinister. 1932 British film. Oh, it's British, forget about it. But it was directed by, check this guy's name out, Widgie. Widgie R. Newman. Widgie. Widgie. <laughs> That's where the thing from. They used to pull a sword yeah, yeah, yeah. and they got a widgie. Yeah, you got a widgie. We have a skip like that too. Yeah. If you give me a widgie. It's about a mad scientist trying to implant a girl's brain into an ape. Uh, nothing of this film survives. Usually there's a picture or something like that. Nothing survives. Okay, It's on a list of Britain's 75 most wanted missing films. There must be a lot of missing films. What year was it? 1932. Wow. Nothing survives. Not a picture, not a scrap of this, nothing. Okay? You know, yeah, so just thinking, I wonder if there might have been something there, but during the uh, WW2, I wonder if there might have been stuff in a building that might have got hit and damaged during the air raid. And we know that film is very volatile, so yeah. it would have burned up. And that's probably right now. Uh, number two. Number two. The Hunchback and the Dancer. 1920 silent film, okay? Uh, and it's about a repulsive hunchback. Those aren't my words. That's what the thing said. Because, you know, a hunchback oh, is, yeah. a, is a physical some animal. Hunchback, sir? Well, and it's, it's, there's some, some art. There's, there's some beautiful hunchbacks, I'm sure. I'm sure. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but, anyways, the, hunt, the repulsive hunchback is spurned by a beautiful girl. He taints her. He taints her. I said taints her. Shut up, Penny. He taints her with a poison substance that makes whoever she kisses die. And she finds out about it. And she wants to get her revenge by tricking him to kiss her. Wow. But the dog got dying. What if it kissed him and they turned into a hunchback? I don't think it did that, but we don't know because it's lost. 1920, silent film, lost, okay? Number three, okay? Yep. A, this one's from 1924, silent film called A Son of Satan. The names are good. A Son of Satan. This is the second or third silent film? Huh? This is the second or third silent film? No, it's the third on my list. Oh, yeah, but, but film. there are two silent films. Yeah, we just did the Hunchback. Okay, the second silent, this is the second silent film on my list. Those ones you think they go, went missing because they well, couldn't hear them? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Nobody could hear them, so... It's like, what do we need it? We do. We just got. <laughs> yeah, have, why do we, we have the it? capability for sound? Why do we need these? Because these are important to cinema history, dude. Oh. Yeah, I know. If, if there was a lost Clint Eastwood film, oh, you'd you, be going you, crazy. You have a mission. Do you wish your mission is what? Fine. Or no, wait. You know what? I want that. You're you're oh, busy doing the show. What? Oh, I'll come <laughs> well, you're gonna you know, Somebody out there that's yeah. hearing this, yeah, dig around in some of those movies and see if you can find where maybe. A sound a movie was remade. You know, where they what? tried to remade it. Remake a it. sound movie was remade? The original is gone, but somebody tried to remake it in some style of variety. That way you're prompting them to do their own show oh, now. Yeah. And they'll be saying this? Yes. Maybe I'll check it Come back there. with the info and share it with us. Yes, sir, with us. They're called the hotline yeah. at 440-944-7105. We loved your calls last week. Raven, thanks for the call. Uh, more calls. 440-944-7105. Now nobody's going to answer. That's a hotline. But, you know, give us some information, questions, comments, whatever you want. And remember, my name is Rich. 23 years I've been on this show. It's okay to say you like me, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm still hurting over Yeah, that. you know, we haven't gotten any mail for quite a while. I just checked the other day and yeah, nothing. Send some mail. We got Raven says, down. Dirty Harry and the Golden Chili Dogs, a lost 70s classic. I'd hate to see that. Anything with Dirty Harry, I'd take. Did I eat one bun or two? <laughs> yeah. But being these are the most tastiest <laughs> hot dogs in the whole wide world. And a chili really makes me laugh. Yeah, I've got to ask myself <laughs> one question. Do I have indigestion? Uh, do I punk? <laughs> I've got to know. Um, you're yeah. crazy. Um, where am I? Son of Satan. Okay. Son of Satan. A man accepts a. What year is this? 1924. We're still on the side. Oh, okay. We're still on the same one because I interrupted you. <laughs> little piggy, little piggy, let me in. 
Well, you told me to read things and take photos. Oh, that's fine. That's good. Are you can... calling me a piggy? Well. <laughs> yeah. Pig dog. Yeah. <laughs> or, pig. Um, where am I? Son of Satan. A man accepts a bet to stay in a haunted house. Okay. Um, in its original run, it ran into some distribution problems. So they had a hard time dis distributing this silent film in 1924 because it had a depiction of a cat getting killed on screen, which that's never good, right? Mm -hmm. I never like to see an animal killed on screen. Uh, it had a Ku Klux Klan leader being slain, eh, but it was in there. You know, they don't like to see a, a animal that could be a pet get killed on the screen. Great. Yeah, they don't mind seeing the Ku Klux Klan leader being slain. Yeah, they, they, they don't mind seeing too. Jaws get killed or you know yes. blown to pieces or whatever. No, no, because that's a bad, that's a bad thing. Wolf man, that's a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and also a man choking. I need a number between eight and eight forty-five or whatever. Get right? off of there, Art. Right. Um, so all these problems cause it to be hard to distribute it, and it kind of dropped off the face of the earth, and there's no trace of it. If there's no trace of it, how they even know how they know it? Right. That's what I'm wondering. But here's one, Denny, I thought was interesting. It's called Opia! 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 Not Opia. Opia! Opia. Opia! Opia! 1935. Opia, a funny film. person. Opia. Opia, person that watches the midnight movie. That would be a thing to be a. Oh, yeah, that would be, oh, yeah. Yeah. And then you, hear, you would that. hear applause. <laughs> like that. Oh, let me hold it here. I'm going to hold the uh, person. And then I can give you a wink on the wink skeleton, but you can't see it. Um, Obia, 1935 film about an adventurer. This is funny. An adventurer searching for a lost explorer. So an adventurer, isn't that the same thing as an explorer? But anyhow. Um, he's looking for a lost explorer in a remote island. It's a native I native island in the oh I don't know if you remember right. Oh, the native island natives native island natives. They're practicing voodoo called obeya. Okay, it's a form of voodoo, and he wants to get out of there. He finds obeya, not obeya. Obeya, obeya. I don't know obeya. Why don't you go there and find out? And say <laughs> ask them. Um, but anyways, he he finds the explorer. And he's like dying. So he grabs his daughter who's there, so he's trying to rescue the daughter and another guy, and the natives are trying to stop him from leaving the island, and, but they make it to a boat, and then they're cursed into having a dangerous love triangle. Whoa! Whoa. Oh! Oh! Ah. Ah. Right. What year was this one? 1935. Okay. Ooh. Isn't that weird? And the funny thing, this... You know, they, they might have been... What? The girl might have been wearing a dress, like, all the way down past her knees. Yeah. And then it got wet and it shrunk. Yeah, well, yeah. It was all cotton. Um, this movie though, was shot entirely on a, um, not entirely, but it was shot during 11 months on a round the trip cruise, on a cruise ship. So they'd stop at these islands. I don't understand it here, but, but that was a thing. But hey, then it disappeared. All right, Raven says love triangles can get pointy. Yeah. Oh, well, he just said triangle. That's why I said the Raven's room. I added the word love. He said little triangles get pointy. Triangles get pointy. There's a little, you know, there's a little delay. Yeah. I always hit the same button. Uh, and the last one that you have to look for is called Lock Up Your Daughters. Lock Up Your Daughters, 1959. Okay. This Ooh. one's very interesting because it starred. That's why I was on a on a on a hokey, on a on a on a thing yesterday. Easy for you to say. Starred Bela Lugosi. Real okay, yeah. So it's a lost Bela Lugosi movie from 1959. That's not even that old. Um, it's a vampire doctor. Okay, experiments on a young woman in order to bring his dead wife back to life. The film was created entirely by using excerpts from Bela Lugosi's older monogram films, and they piece this thing together. Okay. And then I guess while the film would play, they offered a cash prize to people that could identify the monogram film the scene came from. But you know what happened? They got lost. <laughs> they got lost. Yeah. And I couldn't find it. I lost Bela Lugosi movies. Uh, and I said, if, it, if that's the movie you're talking about, Raven says it sounds like an Elvis film. We'll pull out your book because we got a number. Okay, jeez. We got page 420 coming in from Raven. 
Raven wants four twenty. 20 okay? And we're going to get it out of the complete directory to prime time. Network TV shows 1946 to present by Tim Brooks and Earl Marsh. If you're wondering, it's a little outdated book though. What was the number? 420. 420. 420. 420 for Raven. 420 for Raven. 420 for Raven. 420 for Raven. No! Do another one. That's Knott's Landing. We already did that one. Oh, we did that one. Was it Knott's Landing? Give us another number, number, Raven. Give me another number. No, oh, Knott's Landing. This one page is marked. We're not not Landing. I wonder if like a show I've never heard of, you know? Come on, Raven. Somebody. Give me Somebody another number. Give me another Raven one. will. He stopped chiming in? Yeah, he, he got mad at you? Yeah, I guess he got mad at me. I gave him a you wink. I haven't. Oh, 220. 220, all right. He cut it back. Still cut in the 20s, huh? All right, 220. 220. There better not be Dallas. <laughs> I want an old show. I, I wonder if room 222 is on page 222. Look, I stopped at 222. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, 220. 220. Mm, what are we going to do here? Uh, uh, oh, man, there's some crappy ones on here. Well, that's okay. You don't need a good crappy one every well, once in a while. How about a dramatic mystery? No, 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 I'm sorry. This one's called Draw Me a Laugh. You want Dream Girl? It's a beauty contest. Oh, I'm so crappy. They're all crappy. Well, that could be good. Well, you pick one. You're, you're the, that's well, your side of the table. Well, yeah. both of them. The first one, Draw Me a Laugh, is a cartoon quiz panel show from 1949 on ABC. The MC was Walter Hurley and Patricia Bright. I never heard of them. Never heard of them. Uh, they had some regular people on here Mel Kassan, Jay Irving, and Oscar Brand. Never heard of them. Never heard of them. Uh, the object of the show was for the participants who were cartoonists. Well, there you go. We know who they are now. Uh, to draw cartoons based on ideas sent in by viewers. That's what my AI was doing yesterday. Wow. Don't even need a cartoon. Yes, we do. I'm just joking. Joel. We need our cartoonists. Support cartoonists. AI stinks. Um, the show's regular cartoonist, Mel Kassan, was, giving a was given a description of the cartoon to be drawn, but not the caption. Oh, I can see hilarity ensuing. Simultaneously, the caption, but not the description, was given to another cartoonist, who made up his own illustration. Oh, 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 my. The two cartoons were then compared, and an audience panel voted on which was funnier, okay? What year was this? 1949. Wow. Okay, well, you're going to like the end of this. Other segments of the show included making cartoons out of scribbles, drawing blind, and singing captions by folk singer Oscar Brand. The show lasted exactly four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and then it... Became lost, hopefully, like the rest of the crap we were talking about. Well, we got another page here. You don't have to do another one that one. We got another page. Yeah, give me another page. I'm Raven right. says he'd watch that show now, which, yeah, you know what? It'd probably be interesting. There's a lot of good knowledge. No, it only lasted four weeks. 34, by the way. It only lasted four weeks for Raven. Don't waste your time, buddy. He says he this show's been on longer, <laughs> than, longer than that. He says he loves those left the field shows. Yeah, well, that's, that's left the field, all right. Hey! We left. We must be stuck in 1949 because we're getting... No, I'm not doing that one. You want a documentary or you want a variety? I get two things. Right. Right? Okay. American Minstrels of... I said Minstrels. Of 1949. Hey. Woohoo! We love 1949, 1949 today. The year you were born, my friend. No. No. Um... You're not seeing it, but you know. Yeah, you, you have a hey, uh, maybe on maybe that. I uh, maybe on that version. Maybe, maybe no, something no, like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the MC was Jack Carter. Jack Carter. Jack Carter. Do you remember him? I kind of think I remember. Uh, Jack yeah. Carter, the MC. Uh, they're more regulars. Pick and Pat. <laughs> pick and Pat. Pick and Pat. Pick Malone. As to pick and pay. Pick. Oh, make my nose itch when I said Pick Malone and Pat Paget. Pat Pick, Pick Malone and Pat. No, I gotta write that down. I want to look them up. Pick, Mal Pick Malone. Pick Malone. I'm interested. Like what did they do? And Pat Paget. I gotta see what they did. That was crazy. And uh, who else was in this thing? Mary Small. She said Mary Small. Uh, Jimmy Burrell. And we're wrapping it all up with the hilarious Esther Sloan. Oh my God. I didn't hear any of them. Uh, this was more vaudeville than a true minstrel show. I wonder if any of them are still alive. I don't know. I, 
and then reach out to them and say, hey, do you remember doing the show? Do you remember doing this? Jack Carter, Jack Carter sounds familiar. Uh, a show with more vaudeville than a true minstrel, sh minstrel show. Minstrel show. Never some real old time acts. These acts had to be old if they're already in 1949 and called an old time act. Uh, Smith and Dale and their Dr. Klein, Kleinheit, Klein, no, Dr. Cronkite routine. Oh, the hilarious Dr. Cronkite routine. Remember that one? I'm uh, assuming you're pronouncing that correctly. Dr. Cronkite, after I figured it out. Because I don't have my glasses on. Cronkite. No, they're laying right here. Didn't have one. Um, and the regulars included Blackface Comics, Pick and Pet. Well, I'm not looking them up now. <laughs> I'm not looking them yeah. up. Because that is not what we like. We don't like that no more, right? And we didn't like it then that much. Um, so, no. Uh, Mary Small was a singer and Jimmy Burrell and dancer Estelle Sloan. Okay? Uh, also seen were big-time TV acts called Nelson's Cats. Remember them? Nope. Me neither. <laughs> Uh, didn't I, say, I, I, I know the song Nashville Cats. Well, maybe they did it. This is Nelson's Cats. No. Big time TV. Yeah, that Nelson's was Todd's Cats. friend. Uh, um, Which one? John Davidson? No. no oh, well, I can't remember. The, what, the guy from uh, Welcome uh, Back, Connor? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's Connor. his name? John, John, uh, John Sebastian. So John Sebastian from yeah. Welcome Back, Connor? Yeah. Which, hey, Nashville we're going to hold Todd to it. We're going to have an interview this year. Not this year, maybe next year. He says we can get an interview with John Sebastian. That'd be awesome. We're gonna we're gonna say mm -hmm. and if I do, first thing I'll say to him is Welcome back. <laughs> oh yeah, he'd never heard that one before. <laughs> yeah. Shut so, up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well hey, you know what? Well, we got special. We've week, been in there now week, for, you know, we we've taken our half hour show to you know, forty five minutes. Usual. The usual yeah, we lined it up usual time. Hey, you can always watch us on the Monster Channel, okay? You can watch us on Tingler Television, Tuesday nights, Betamax Channel, or online. You can watch us on the Vortex. Tune in to the Vortex online. You can chat on there. And if we ever figure out how to do it, we're going to hop on there and chat. But I don't know how to do it right now. Yeah, we also have uh, Cox Channel. Oh, the Cleveland Channel 2021. We're on Wadsworth TV and Brunswick Area TV. These are brand new. Yeah, boop, boop, they boop. have archive shows. So the weather they're yeah. showing new, and we apologize for those that have... Cox Cable that some they seem to be yeah we're working they, on they, that but the Cox is yeah they they don't they're being no <laughs> yeah we don't know what's going on we're trying to work it out they got some new equipment we send them movies we don't know we're trying to straighten out we promise hey and we even found out we're in Jacksonville Florida we gotta trace that one down no. Seifert so. says El Gran Papo Zombie and Monster Hunter will be back out on the trail soon glad to hear it sir they gonna be on the trail. That's what it says. We'll be back on the trail soon. Well, come down this way and see us here in Cleveland Town. Come see us. Check us out. We've got a lot of cool hosts here in Ohio. Where's he from? Where, where are you from, Grand Pappy? Grand Pappy. Where are you guys where from? Where are you trailing from? Where are you hailing from? Where are you from? Are you within a one, one tank trip range? You have to let us know. You know who was? Raven from Raven's Rookery. I only like saw him. That was one tank trip. So, lot of fun. All right. I'm not leaving it. Oh, yeah. No, we're in. I get to turn it off. Well, Seaford will come around. Oh, Geauga County. Oh, Geauga County. County. Oh, but today you're right here in the backyard. Well, come down and see us at the Vinyl Arcade Show tomorrow night. It'll be a lot of fun, right? Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. Love to all you fans come down. So we'll be hanging out down there. Uh, having some fun. Come see Vinyl Arcade. Have some laughs. That would be fun. Yeah. All it right. would be. Hold on the show. All right. right. I can go over to the... Well, you know, oh. Rich is making his way to... Oh. Turn out the lights, the party's over. So, once again, everybody, hey, thank you for watching, joining in, oh. listening, you know, tell people about it, because it'll be on uh, Facebook later where you can share it and rewatch it if you like. And, uh, hey, remember to watch our show, The Midnight Movie. Check out the website, midnightmovie.net. And, folks, if all goes well, we'll see you next Thursday at this time. Okay, now check this yeah. out. Now, just coming off this thing. Now, look, oh. Denny. What? Hit that button over there on, on the back of Wilma's picture so you can see the winkometer. See it? Hit the button. Yeah, see it winking? Yeah, look at all the cool stuff we got there. The wink, I got to fix that so you can see that stuff. Hey, you know what? All right. Oh, oh, there I can see it. There you go. The winkometer. See it? Isn't that cool? That's so all you do is get winks too. There you go. That's what was happening. We're gonna... Oh, man, you push it once and it winks for like a. Yeah, that's a winking son of a gun.
All right. See everybody next time. All right. See everybody. Bye. Have a great weekend.